So we want to talk just a little bit about rate adjustment here on the 1590 no-till drills. Uh, it's one of the things that uh, folks often have questions about when they're renting our drills, uh, especially if they're a new user and haven't used a drill before. So we've got two boxes on these drills. We have a grass seed box or forage box up here on top, and we also have the standard grain box on these drills. Uh, they adjust slightly differently, and, and we'll cover uh, how you go about that. Both of the boxes have a rate chart that's affixed to the inside. There's a label fastened to the inside of the lid. And so based on the crop that you're going to plant, uh, you can go in there and look for the rate setting uh, based, on, based on what you want to do. Uh, for the grain box, so if we're seeding uh, oats, wheat, rye, uh, soybeans, uh, something of that nature, a, a larger grain, uh, we're going to run that through the grain box. Uh, changing the rate on the grain box is, is accomplished by moving this crank, which brings your pointer back and forth. And these numbers on this, on this quadrant will correspond to the numbers that are on the chart in the box. Uh, something to keep in mind on the grain box. Um, on the seed cups for the grain box, there is a small flat steel lever right here on the side of the seed cup on each one of these seed cups. Uh, it does make a difference where that lever is set for which crop that you're going to be planting. So for small grains, for example, it's always going to be uh, in that top notch. Uh, you may be seeding soybeans and then whether you are in the second notch or the third notch is going to depend on the size of the soybeans. There is a page in the operator's manual um, that explains which one of those notches that that is supposed to be in based on the size of the seed for the crop. Uh, I believe that the cutoff for soybeans between notches is something about 2,500 seeds per pound. So when you're drilling soybeans with these drills, you're going to want to make sure uh, that you grab a seed tag and see what the seed count is as far as seed density per pound uh, on the beans that you're planting. The reason that that's important is that if we've got this lever set clear in the top notch when we're trying to, to drill soybeans, the hole that it's trying to push the soybeans out through in here is pretty small and you're going to end up with a lot of cracked seeds and of course those cracked beans aren't going to grow for you. Uh, so you want to make sure that that's set in the right place. So that pretty much covers uh, rate setting for, uh, for, the, for the grain box. The one thing we would like you to do when you're finished using the drill uh, for both boxes is to open the rate all the way up uh, on the grain box, drop these uh, seed levers back down to the open position here and run it a few feet and run all of that old seed out for us. That way the next operator uh, is not having to deal with any seed that you might leave in the drill. And the other thing that it does is help to make sure that we don't have seed laying in these cups that might sprout if the drill happens to be setting out in a rainstorm. So we'll move on then to the grass seed attachment. The grass seed attachment similarly has a label on the inside lid uh, that you can that you can look at to get your rate setting. Uh, there's a thumb screw here and you simply move the move it back. This, this quadrant is numbered on top similar to the way that the one for the grain box is monitored is, is, is labeled. Um, the one thing that is confusing for a lot of folks when they're using the grass seed attachment on these drills is how to how to calculate the rate or the setting uh, for a mix. And so what John Deere really wants you to do is to know the pounds per acre of each one of the constituents in your seed mix that you want to drill. So let's just say that we're drilling uh, an alfalfa and orchard grass seeding mix for a forage. So a pretty typical rate would maybe be 15 pounds of alfalfa per acre and four or five pounds of orchard grass. So the way that you're going to find out what number you should use up here on the depth quadrant is you're going to go to the chart you're going to look for the depths or the, the uh, rate setting for uh, 15 pounds of alfalfa and let's just say that that's a 10. Uh, and then you're going to look at the rate setting for 5 pounds of orchard grass and let's say that that's a 3. Your setting then for the, for the quadrant here on the grass seed box is going to be those two settings added together so it's going to be a 13. Uh, but you want to confirm those numbers each time that you make a rate adjustment for a different mix uh, based on the label uh, in the lid. Uh, if you are in a situation where you have bought a ready-made mix uh, from someplace like the Central Ohio Farmers Co-op, uh, Tractor Supply, Rural King, uh, 
and it basically just tells you you want to see 30 pounds per acre of this mix, uh, then you really need to do a little bit of math uh, to find out how many pounds per acre of each thing that you're going to seed. So if the mix has four things in it, your seed tag will always tell you what the percentage of each one of those seed constituents is. Uh, so you're going to have to figure out what the percentage uh, of each one of those is within your 30 pounds and figure out how much of the 30 pounds is alfalfa, red clover, orchard grass, and timothy. So you need to know those pounds per acre in order to use the rate chart uh, to set this drill. The other thing to keep in mind for the uh, the grass seed boxes that there are two uh, transport lockouts for the drives on this drill. One of those is for the grass seed box and that's right here. You see the grass seed drive shaft is this right here and the transport lockout is this little wheel right here. So when we have it in that position, it's locked out. When we move it to this position, we can see that it snaps in there and that connects this drive shaft for the grass seat box and that'll let it turn whenever whenever the drill is running when you have it down. Normally we like to keep that disengaged, just cuts down on wear uh, up here uh, on these uh, seed cups uh, as well as the, the drive chain for the grass seat box. That pretty well covers rate adjustments for the 1590 drill. You can always call the Southern Water Conservation District office if you have other questions and we'll help you, especially on the seed mixes. Uh, if you're buying a premix. Uh, and you have a tag available, you can call our office and we'll help you work out what the actual rate setting is uh, for that seed mix. There are occasions when the seed mix is so heavy uh, that it can't be done through the grass seed box. And in those instances, we'll help you figure out what the appropriate setting is uh, for the grain box. And if you're doing a forage seeding through the grain box uh, at a really high rate, uh, the seed cup setting down here is going to be the same as for small grains. It's always going to be in that top notch. Uh, otherwise, it's going to drill heavier than, than what you think you're wanting to put on. So that pretty well covers it.